Hello, this is Mitch Wagner at Light Reading. I'm here at Cisco's Future for the Internet event in San Francisco on a gray and cloudy and rainy day. Um, just sat through a whole morning of uh, presentations here and really came away with um, an impressed feeling about the ambition and scope of this announcement and how successful this is going to be, of course, remains to be seen. But um, this is a big deal for Cisco, and it, my first impression is it looks like they're bending the business on this for the next generation. I'm not kidding, um, or at least for the next 10 years. So what did they announce today? Um, they announced uh, a new architecture called Cisco Silicon One, obviously for silicon. This is a set of chips and silicon that will span multiple different places in the network. Rather than having to build specialized ASICs for each individual place on the network, uh, with their own software and their own APIs and their own operational complexity. It's just one piece of silicon that fits wherever you're going in the network, no matter what job you're doing. They have an operating system that goes along with that silicon and that redu reduces components and simplifies and also they're adding testing. They've also got an optical component to it to, to kind of decrease the cost of optics, putting it all together. Um, they've got an interesting new economic model that I'm going to be looking at for the next couple of days and trying to explain to you a little bit better. But basically it looks like they're, they're, they're componentizing a lot more than they have been. You can put the chips and run other people's software on it and build it into other people's system. You can have software on other people's hardware, Cisco software on other people's hardware. This uh, goes in the direction of disaggregating, opening things up, and um, enabling more choice for network operators. And, and really, it looks like it puts Cisco in a direction of in a components business that it hasn't been in before. So what's the, what does this mean to service providers? Um, they talked today about the problems that you guys are already, already familiar with. Basically, network demand is increasing, which they pointed out is actually good. If you're in business and people want your products more, that's great. Um, but ARPU is going down, the revenue per user is, is declining while demand is increasing. Operational costs, they said, are remaining the same. Put it all together, that's a real squeeze for service providers. And Cisco is claiming that it can help service providers out of that quandary by simplifying operations all the way across the board. So, like I said, looks like Cisco's betting the business here on this. Um, my first impression, I may feel foolish about this in a day or a week or years. My first, impre my first impression is that Cisco is going to succeed or fail on this business. Either they're going to take ownership of the internet, or at least their part of the internet, for a decade or a generation, or they'll be teaching this in business school as Cisco's spectacular failure, one or the other. Um, I don't see much middle ground here. Anyway, pretty exciting announcement. That's it for today. Thank you very much.